Hey guys, I'm Sage Valentine and I'm back to review another episode of CBS's Big Brother Season 18, episode number 25, so let's just get down to it. This episode was extremely explosive. I really enjoyed watching it. I'm definitely going to break it down and I do not feel sorry for Polly at all. Karma something, isn't it? He seemed elated when Frank was on the block, Day was on the block, Bridget was on the block, Z was on the block, and he thought that he was pulling the strings this week and was really happy when Victor won HOH, but surprise, surprise, Polly's about to get backdoored this week. Sucks to be you, Polly, and the only thing that will save him is if he has the round trip ticket. Do I think he has it? I'll just wait to see on Thursday because I'm really not that sure. But if he did, it's going to be very explosive in the Big Brother house. So either way, it makes for good TV in my opinion. Kudos to Big Brother for finally showing Pauly to be the villain that he is. Because Pauly got caught in a lie and tried to backtrack and looked really really bad now before I get to that I thought it was hilarious when Michelle blew up Nicole's gameplay and the only thing that saved Nicole was the super safety that America awarded her but once that wears out Nicole is in big trouble now Natalie decided to tell Zakia all about the things that Polly has been doing in the house. polly has been bad-mouthing Zakia. he made a joke about kissing Natalie, he's been flirting with Natalie, and he is the main reason why Zakia's on the block. Now, Zakia says that she knew Polly put her on the block, and she knew that he made her a target. So Zakia goes and she confronts Polly. She says that she felt like she was being attacked, and she felt like she was disposable, and Natalie told her that it was Polly's idea to put her on the block, obviously. So Polly tries to backtrack. He blames Natalie, says Natalie stirred the pot, and says, quote, if he had anything to do with Zakia's nomination, she would be going home. And then Zakia left the house, so clearly Zakia has an answer to that question. Polly says he doesn't like Jersey girls. Jersey girls don't like Polly. I mean, we all are not a hive mind in this state. But after watching this show, quite a few Jersey girls probably don't like him as it is. So Natalie tells James that Paulie wanted to make out with her and he said that she had the nicest butt in the house and James is upset. On a side note, I see Natalie as a ruthless player and more power to her for being ruthless. She is literally the last spy girl left. She was the leader. Her timing to reveal Paulie's comments about her butt and the make out thing was planned. Keep that in mind. Natalie may seem like a lamb, but that chick is a lion. So if you're just watching the TV show, you need to know that the edit makes Natalie look like she is sweet and innocent. But Natalie is ruthless and Natalie is gunning for that $500,000 and more power to her if she wins it. James talks to Polly about making passes at Natalie. Polly basically says that he compliments everyone he does, but not in the way that he was talking to Natalie. Keep that in mind. He says that Jersey girls can eat up Southern boys for breakfast. Polly clearly has some issues he needs to work out. And he was trying to warn James about what he was quote unquote seeing, allegedly seeing via this relationship James has with Natalie, but he came across as being rather bitter and a little bit aggressive. And that was just a nail in his coffin. He also said, Paulie was fussing with Natalie and he said that she's shady and she's doing the exact thing that Paulie is doing. Meaning she's trying to put down the way that Polly's treating Zakia when she is treating James the exact same way. He also tells Natalie that Michelle's going home when in actuality Zakia went home and Natalie is next and that Natalie is as fake as her boobs and Natalie told this to James, Paul, and Bridget and they all were upset. Bridget was the most upset. 
So, in regards to the blow up, Paulie's up there, and this is before Natalie gets there, talking about how he's trying to flip that Natalie is kind of personally attacking him and that she's hitting on every guy in the house and that boob comment he made was a metaphor for fakeness. Sakia left the room, ran to Natalie, told Natalie that Bridget and Paulie were going at it. And Natalie comes in the room. Paulie reminds me of Clay from season 17. When he sits back, he's just like, well, Natalie, what do you want to discuss? He's like, you've been a certain way with everyone in the house. Natalie says, I'm not confrontational. I'm trying to remember if she, I think she said that everyone, no, Paulie said to Natalie, everyone knows your game. You are disrespectful with all the guys. You are flirtatious. Natalie says that she loves and cares about James. And she said, you say things behind Zakia's back. Natalie says she doesn't take things to the next level and Paulie tells her don't be fake now this whole situation makes Paul question the way that Paulie is playing the game that's where as Paul basically says that Paulie is a ticking time bomb super aggressive he can't trust him and wants to distance himself from Paulie which I find to be extremely ironic considering that Paul basically said all those things about Davon and Davon was none of the above the man sitting with him who allowed him to cut his hair the same way who started acting like him was the one that Paul needed to watch out for more than he needed to watch out for Davon which, to be honest, I really don't think he even needed to watch out for Davon because Davon was pretty calm in the game. But as far as this episode is concerned, was Pauly telling the truth about Natalie? In my opinion, is she playing James? Probably, in a game standpoint. Does she like James? Probably. I don't know. I'm not in Natalie's head. But from what I'm seeing... What she's been doing so far in the game has kept her safe. So she's doing something right. And let's not stand on ceremony, if I can use the words of Bane from The Dark Knight Rises. Let's not act like Paulie is an angel. He is the villain. And as my mom always says, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Like, Paulie could have used that situation to call attention to Natalie, but all he did was make himself look terrible. And he accused Davon and Zakia of being shady, but he was the sneaky and shady person the entire time. Thank you, big brother, for revealing this truth to the viewers. So right before the double eviction, James revealed that he was voting out Zakia. He also revealed that he was going to make sure to use his power to stop Corey and Paul from voting. He revealed that the girls came up with the plan to save Michelle and kick out Zakia. And he revealed that he was voting to kick out Zakia. So, Paulie's pissed. He runs to Paul. He accuses Paul of knowing what James was planning on doing. Paul plays dumb, says he didn't, when in actuality he did. So Paulie wonders, was this situation a shot at him? Yep. Again, do I think that Natalie is playing James from a game standpoint? Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. And... Paulie is upset because James is basically throwing his people under the bus. Not like they wouldn't have done it to him. I mean, it is a game. Can't take it personally. So, after Zakia and Bridget are voted out, Paulie goes up to James. He says that he got caught up in the hype. He apologizes for the way that he was acting. But James said he won't forget what Paulie did on a game level, but he will forgive him, but he's still gonna go after Paulie, obviously. So Victor reveals that there are two sides of the house. Corey, Nicole, and Paulie are on one side, James, Natalie, and Michelle are on another side, and Paul and Victor are in the middle, 
which means they have the most power in the house at this point. Corey has Paulie's back at this point in the game. That's it. And Paul makes Paulie think that everything is okay because Paulie's a little cray cray in Paul's point of view. So Victor won HOH, which I'm not surprised that he won. I mean, in all honesty, if I can just, you know, refer back to other seasons when somebody leaves and they come back in the game, normally that person is voted out within a week after they are brought back into the game. But unfortunately, it looks like Victor is going to be in this game until the end because he literally is a competition beast. Pauly hoped that Victor would win the HOH so that he could pull off getting the girls out of the game via the guys alliance. Paul wanted Victor to win so that he could continue floating and basically Victor would do all of the heavy lifting for the week. Um, and Pauly also hoped that Victor would win so that he could kind of cruise and chill out. As if he was actually going to do that because when has Pauly actually cruised in this game? Because you know good and well that if Victor and Pauly and the girls didn't come up with this backdoor idea to get Pauly out of the game, you know good and well that Pauly would be running this HOH as well. So Victor and Paul. Paul and Victor make the decision to put themselves out there and pick a side and Victor gives Paulie this impression that he does not like Michelle and both Paul and Victor give Paulie this impression that a girl is going up on the block. Paul tells Victor to make sure to put Paulie and Corey up on the block and Victor's just like, dude, if I do this, is this going to work because it's could backfire on me? And that's when Paul, if I remember correctly, said something about they need to talk to James and get James to go along with this. And Paul was just like, you know, we can get James to go along with this. We can kind of trust him. But in actuality, Victor and Paul only trust one another. So Paul feels like he needs to make sure that Victor puts up Paulie and Corey. But Victor's just like, okay, I'll put them up. You know I want to put up Paulie anyway because he backdoored me. And it doesn't matter if one of them wins the veto, then Nicole will just go up as a replacement. Well, that was the plan before Nicole won America's Care Package. Paul tells Victor, like, Corey is stronger than you. We got to put him up. And if he goes home, he goes home. But we got to stay strong because both Polly and Corey were playing us for fools. Okay. So America's Care Package was dropped from the sky and it basically knocked the crap out of Natalie. I'm like, why did Natalie have to get hit out of all the house guests? But anyway, Nicole won it. She won scrunchies, mosquito spray, something else, and the super safety. So she basically had to wear this super safety costume with this like cone hat that to me, it looks kind of cute. But I guess Nicole didn't mind wearing this after a while because again, she's safe for the week so she doesn't have to worry about anything even though she initially ends up having to worry about Corey being on the block. But it appears that Polly is the bigger target so Corey might be okay this week. Okay, so James tells Natalie that Victor is nominating Polly and Corey. Natalie's excited. She's so sad to be around Polly because of the nasty things that he says about her. And she tells Victor and um, Paul that she has Michelle wrapped around her finger. And here's what I think about that statement. Honestly, I feel like Michelle is playing these people and making them think that she's all emotional and she's 
playing with emotion so they'll keep her for a long time in the game but michelle is definitely a threat and she's only going through the motions and going along with everything for now until she gets herself to a certain point and then she is going to be a beast in this game just because she won one competition doesn't mean she can't win others <laughs> so victor nominates Polly and Corey. He said that Polly is the strongest and he has to Victor has to do what Polly would do and go for the strongest player. Corey is just guilty by association and Corey is loyal to Polly and will go along with whatever Polly says to do. Big Brother is so shady <laughs> for the sleigh bells playing as if like there's nothing up here in Corey's head. <laughs> Oh man, Big Brother is being so shady this season. It's hilarious. So Victor makes it clear that he did not forget what Paulie did to him and payback is a B. Paul's so happy he's doing his little blindsided dance. <laughs> he's so happy Paulie is nominated. Corey feels betrayed. He said that Victor backstabbed him. Paulie is in tears. He's upset that he's up on the block next to Corey. He is a competitor and he knows if he wins veto, then Corey's going to go home because Paulie will take himself down and somebody else will be put up and Corey will be the one basically backdoored and kicked out of the house. And Natalie said justice is served. Peace out, Paulie. Fist pump your way back to Jersey. So how do I feel about this episode? This blind side was brilliant and it's going to work out in the house guest's favor the only thing is that they better hope that paulie does not have that round trip ticket because if he does there will be some serious furniture moving in the big brother house and they better hope he doesn't get hoh when he comes back if he has that round trip ticket and if he doesn't have the round trip ticket and he is the person that's able to return back in the house during the buyback that would be even crazier if he returned during the second buyback and was able to win HOH. I swear, people are saying that season 18 is so boring. To me, it is a tumultuous season. Things are not going the way that everybody thought it would. Will I be reviewing season 19? You bet I will. And season 20 and season 21. I'll pretty much be reviewing these seasons until Big Brother and CBS decide, you know what? That's it. We're done. <laughs> but you guys take care. And thank you for being so patient with me in regards to this review. I did not get home till 11 o'clock and I thought I was going to get home earlier. But I made sure to record this review it is now 1 22 in the morning but you know guys i had to put this up for you let me know what you thought of this episode the season so far and who you think is going to win and if at any time i am unable to post my review on time i will tweet on my twitter at sage valentine and let you guys know that i am Recording a video uploading a video or I'll let you know what's going on, but I will never leave you guys hanging So until Wednesday, I love you guys. Take care. Bye guys Bye <laughs>